Hey guys, it's Techie Danny, and today we're diving into the world of next-gen connectivity with the brand new Eero Max 7 Wi-Fi routers. These routers promise wireless speeds of up to 4.3 gigabits and wired speeds of 9.4, which is extremely fast. And it can go this fast because it supports Wi-Fi 7 technology, which we'll get into more later. And these routers for a three pack cost me a whopping $1,700. So I really hope they're worth it. And I guess we'll find out. If you're someone who likes to buy cutting edge tech and have it last for about five years, then this video and these routers might just be for you. Because although you probably can't take full advantage of all of the features of these routers today, they're going to be able to grow with you and be useful for years to come. I have the second gen iteration of the Eero routers and I've had them in my house for about about four years and they've been awesome, but it's time to upgrade. With all of the smart home devices I own, I probably have about 40 devices connected to my network at all times. And because of this, my internet's just been lagging and it's not always been perfect. So I went ahead and purchased the brand new, most advanced Eero Mesh Network Wi-Fi system because I want to install it, put it to the test and see if it helps. And what's so great about Wi-Fi 7? Well, not only can it double your network speed and reduce latency, you can also have way more devices connected to it than ever before. Now you don't need Wi-Fi 7 compatible devices to use this router, especially if you're upgrading from an older router, you're still going to see significant improvement. However, you do need Wi-Fi 7 7 compatible devices to take full advantage of all the Wi-Fi 7 technology and to achieve some of those whiz bang specs like 2x faster network speed. I personally don't own any Wi-Fi 7 devices. Not even the new iPhone is Wi-Fi 7. However, if I get this now, as new devices come on board, I will be able to use this router. And I also anticipate getting a pretty big improvement just by upgrading because my old routers were Wi-Fi 5 and that's about three generations old. And if you're a smart home enthusiast, you'll be excited to know that these support Zigbee, Fred, and Matter right out of the box. Okay, so let's unbox these and test them out. My first impression as I unbox these routers is they are massive. Massive. They're huge. I've never seen any routers this large. They're also really heavy, very sturdy, and very well built, which I've come to expect from the Eero product. And so if you turn them around, you'll see they actually have four ports on the back, two that support 2.5 gigabits and two that support 10 gigabits. You may be familiar with older routers, which have a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz channel. However, with the new Wi-Fi 7 technology, these introduce a third channel. So third one is six gigahertz. Setting up these Wi-Fi routers is a total piece of cake. And for me, since I already had Eero devices, it was even easier because I could just port over all of my devices and my settings with one simple click and I didn't have to do anything else. You can buy these in a pack of one, two, or three nodes, but how many nodes do you actually need? Eero recommends one node per 2,500 square feet, but depending on the construction of your house or how many stories your house may have, your mileage may vary. And so you may want more nodes than what Eero recommends. For example, I live in a two-story house. It's about 2,500 square feet. We got the three pack. Now we probably don't need that. Probably could have had two nodes and been fine, but just to make sure my entire house is fully covered. So let's do a speed test. I installed one node upstairs and two downstairs. Now on my old routers, I would get about 200 megs download speed, give or take on my iPhone, unless I was directly next to the router. And I pay for one gigabit internet because that's the maximum that my area allows. Now, just for the record, this one's not plugged in. So the closest router to me is about 40, 45 feet away in my living room and I have one directly above me. So let's go ahead, start it. Okay, so yeah, wow, like in 850s, almost 900. Okay, so just finished. So it looks like I got a download speed of 814. That's actually really good. Way better than I've ever had before. And an upload speed of 34.8. Now I wanna go try these in a couple other rooms in my house because it is a mesh network, so it should be good everywhere, but we're gonna put it to the test, so follow me. So I went upstairs, I'm about 10 feet from the router and let's try our speed test here. Okay, wow, it's also looking really good up here, 800s. Okay, so the download speed is 842, and now it's doing an upload, which is about the same, 3435. So now I'm as far as I can get away from all my routers, let's test the speed. Pretty good, we're in the 600s, it's not bad at all, 631. And now we're doing the uploads, which is about the same at around 35. So for $1,700, who should be buying these routers? What I would say is if you're someone who likes to spend a little bit more money up front, get really good quality, get technology that's gonna last years and something that you can grow into in terms of speed, capacity, and technology, then these routers are perfect. Or if you do a lot of gaming and a lot of streaming, you're gonna like what the Eero Max 7s have to offer. Or if you're someone like me who has a smart home, 
has a ton of devices that all connect to one network and you're noticing that your internet is lagging and it can't keep up with all of your devices, then this in Wi-Fi 7 is gonna make a lot of sense for you. So at the end of the day, I know there are a lot more cheaper options out there for routers, but if you're like me and you value putting your money into something that is good quality and it's gonna last you for a long time that you don't have to worry about upgrading in the next year or five, then I think that these are worth it. Also, if you just really don't have any patience for slow internet and you want great connection in your whole house, then I definitely recommend the Eero Max sevens. I hope you guys liked this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like, subscribe to my channel and check out my content and all of the other platforms. And I hope to see you soon.